I'm Charlie Peachy. I'm one of the weather observers and one of the research and IT specialists here at the Weather Observatory. Um, the main focus of my research currently is the rain on snow project that is ongoing here at the observatory. So the main focus of this project is trying to figure out what happens when there's a snow pact and when you get some rain that falls on top of it. Um, these are big events that happen out west and they can usually be associated with most of the floods that happen in kind of the mountains around Oregon, Washington and then the Rockies as well. Um, so what we've been doing is characterizing um, the types of precipitation over the past 30 to 40 years. We've been looking at that and seeing when there's liquid precipitation falling on top of a snowpack and then pulling out all those days and all of that data individually. Um, the big impact for this type of project is these rain on snow days, as I said, are um, big flood producers. So what we want to do is figure out um, kind of the flood potential out here and then also avalanche forecasting as, as well. Um, so these rain on snow events, because they are um, so new out here on the East Coast, we don't really have a great understanding of them. So if we are able to understand what is the common amount of liquid precipitation that falls out of clouds, and then the amount of liquid equivalent that gets melted out of the snow added together that runs off into our streams. So what we're trying to figure out is just an understanding of what happens when all of that snow melts on top of that rain that falls and if it uh, produces floods here in the White Mountains. And then, as I said, also that avalanche forecasting because when you get rain on snow, you're going to create different layers within the snowpack. And when you create different layers within the snowpack, you create instability. And then instability in the snowpack will eventually create avalanches.